Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Scott Jordan here. In this video today, I'm going to be giving you a couple tips in Logic Pro X that might help you out if you struggle with certain things in Logic Pro X. If you're new to it, if you've been using it for a while, I'm going to show you something. The first thing I'm going to show you in Logic Pro X is if you're lagging, having any type of latency issues when you record and you drag and drop it, or if you just record it, then it's off, you might want to check your recording delay. You want to make sure it says zero, right? And then make sure you had a good buffer size if you're recording at 1024 you're gonna have a lag all right you want to record around like 128 to 512 depending on depending on your interface all right i use an apollo so i use i'm going at 512 right i record around 512 256 samples right so you want to make sure this right here is at zero all right if it's down here it's going to cause you problems. So you want to make sure you put that at zero. All right. Everybody know when it comes to logic, you have to go down here to get your third party plugins. You know, you got to go all the way down here. You got to put plugins in. So I'm going to go to Antares. Sometimes your plugins don't show up. So I'm going to show you how to get that. So I'm supposed to have auto key. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back to Logic Pro X, go preferences, right? No. Yes. <laughs> all right. So we're going to go to Logic Pro, go to preferences, plugin manager. All right, so now we see it was installed, right? It's here. All we got to do now, hit use, and it's good, right? Hit use. Auto key is going to be back in here again. So we go back in, and size, auto key is there. So if you're struggling trying to find a plugin, same thing. This is what you do. So if you can't find a plugin, you just type it in, and you see it. Let me see, like, if I want the Voloco. So if people are looking for Voloco, you gotta click on it and you wanna click on it. If it's not if it's not in here, if it's not validated, you wanna click it, then you wanna reset and rescan selection, all right? And it's gonna validate that. And then like if you wanna turn it off and don't have it in there, boom. Like if you turn it off, it's not gonna show up in the selection folder, like in the folder over here to look for it. But then when you click it, it's gonna show up, right? Then you hit done and then you'll be good to go. This tip right here is gonna help you save a lot of time when you're looking for your plugins. Let's say you have 10 of your favorite go-to plugins and you get tired of having to come down here and just search through everything every single time, right? And let's say you go up here, you got to keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I'm gonna show you what you do to fix that. You just go to plugin manager once again, all right? You see the categories up here, all right? You wanna click this. All right, let's see. Sky Jordan favorite. I can't spell plugins. All right, so Sky Jordan favorite plugins. So now, all I do now is this right here. So I can go to all the plugins. Let's say I like I want other some artists. Drag that over. Um, let's see. What's another plugin real quick? Um, DS or two. Bring that over. Let's see. I'm just dragging stuff at this point. Uh, okay, like ways to real time. All right, I'm just drag one more just for the video's sake. All right, so boom. Then we click right here, right? Boom. So we have those plugins right there. Okay. Boom. So now when we go back over here, look the plugins. Like okay, Sky Jordan's favorite plugins right here. Organized real quick, straight to the point, no problem whatsoever. That's easy. <laughs> and another one is often people make the mistake when they're recording their vocals in Logic Pro X. If you always, if you get this problem, like you see like it's coming out my left side of my ear. If you have this problem, you just want to go up here to your mic input. And you just want to hit that and it's going to give you the mono, right? So one circle is mono, two of them in a lap is stereo, right? Cool. I understand it. And if you want to save your channel stress settings, you know, it's just go here. You go to settings and you go to save. If you got a good take that you want to use, then you can be like, um, I wanna save this. Boom. And it's there. So if you want to go back in here and put it up, there we go. I wanna save this. Simple man. Real easy. Not it's not stressful whatsoever. Okay, so look, listen. So I got the reverb here. I'm gonna show y'all something that's real cool. So look down here. We got the reverb is on bus 16. So we got these three. I'm going to show you something cool. If we right click on this, right, and we go sends on faders, boom. Now we got our sends on our fader. So we don't have to sit here and go guess with the circle. So if we want to sit here and just move these back around, like that's our sends on faders. Yep. 
that's, that's cool. That's cool, right? Right? Then we can turn those off if we want to. Boom. It's just that easy. Or we want to copy fader to send. We cool. All right? If we don't want that, that's ugly. Now we can just bring this down. That's a cool little trick, though. All right, and this is this is something that's really, really cool that a lot of people really don't know about either. Um, if you want to make your aux track stereo, or you want to make it stereo, because, like, we're looking at it now, it's mono. Uh, this is what you do. You go up here. You see this? It says channel mode. You just click that, and now we got it right there, stereo, wide, it's wide, right? So now we got it wide, it's just not mono, all right? That's always lit, like that's, like, that's always lit. That's always lit, and like a lot of people do not know nothing about that. So listen, you got, listen, you hear the difference, right? You hear it, you hear the difference. You hear the difference, that's crazy. That's crazy. You can do that for anything. So anything that you want to make stereo that makes sense, just swap between the two. So look, instead of having to make something to make that wide already, you just make it wider. All right? That's really, really cool. Really, really cool. All right? So look, and if you want to use Pro Tools shortcuts in, some of the Pro Tools shortcuts, not all of them, but some of them. You want to go to Key Commands, go to Presets, you know, Pro Tools. Boom. Good to go. All right? Cool. I ain't just gonna like ignore the conflicts. And you good to go. And I'm gonna show you one thing that's really crazy that a lot of people not really talking about, man. When it comes to logic, this crazy pan trick is crazy. So look, by natural pan, swap that over. Boom. It's gonna look like this. It's gonna look crazy, right? But look, listen, listen. I can put this like it's like right it in my headphones, it's like behind me. It's not all the way there. So if I wanna bring this like over here, I could be like over here. I could be like all the way. I could be like, ah, I'm gonna put this like somewhere in the back to the left. You know? So now it sounds like this right here is kind of like to the front of me. You gotta put headphones on for this. This is crazy. <laughs> put headphones on for this, man. You can hear what I'm talking about. Headphones on for this one. 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 Look at me. I'm doing so crazy. I'm everywhere. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> That'd be crazy. You see the difference in my voice when I just turn that back on? Like, it's crazy. So, if you want the by natural pan, you can just do that and it's going to give you something different. All right? So, it's not natural, right? It's not natural at all. So now, like, my voice is centered. I sound a little bit different, right? Cool. So you can pretty much do what you want to do when it comes to creating. So if I wanted this, I can't change my main stereo output, but I can click on this. And if I wanted to buy a natural pan, I can balance that. Or I can stereo pan this if I wanted to, right? Or I could do a buy natural pan on this if I wanted to. So, like, this is what this sounds like. Let me turn this off on regular. All right. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, this is a cool trick right here. So if I do the by natural pan on the reverb, all right, that puts the reverb behind my vocals already. Like that's wild, that's wild for real. So like, let me see what it sounds like in mono. Yeah, okay, all right, that's cool. That's that's cool. That's that's this is cool. This is something dope for, like mixing trick right here, honestly. Like this is a dope mixing trick. Like really dope. Really dope mixing trick right here. And people need to know something about it. Cause if it's mono, you see this difference? Like I can drag this, I gotta drag it up, and I could like if the further I bring it down, the sound changes. So if I bring this back up, I gotta bring it up. Like you hear more reverb, not drag it down. Or, let me see, my natural. Bring it back. Yep, good to go. Oh, that's crazy. I like this. I like that right there, though. That's cool. That's right. <laughs> These templates really get crazy, bro. These niggas gonna steal my shit, though. They gonna, I don't know. I don't think I ever seen nobody do this shit. But yeah, those are just a couple of tips that I just thought of that might help you out. You know, so make sure you test out some of these tips right here. See if it can help improve your mixes, help you stay organized a little bit better. You know, just 
impress some people, you know what I'm saying? Take what you learned here and just impress people in your next session or whatever. Because I know some YouTubers going to copy me and try to, like, say they did this, you know. But it's cool, man. I ain't, ain't tripping, bro. <laughs> but make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's your boy Scott Jordan. I'm out of here. All right? Yeah. <laughs>